Mikhaevin ishli besumi bepuraya adelo yada benaru. Haman ebaruch Mordechai one has to drink on Purim so much so that he doesn't know the difference between curses Haman and blessed is Mordechai. That is what Rava says in Maseches Megila. Davzain Amud Beis. We have spoken about this extensively in the past. How is this possible? Rava really doesn't want us to know the difference between cursed is Haman and blessed is Mordechai. Who's a tzaddik and who's a rasha? What does this mean? <laughs> Perhaps we can understand it based on the Rema. The Rema wrote a sefer called Mechir Yayin on Megillah Sester, and in there, the Rema says Mordechai is an allusion to Yetzer Hatov. Haman is Yetzer Hara. With that, we can understand. Rabbi suggests that we should drink to the point that we don't know to understand how is it possible that one has 50% Yetzer Hatov and 50% Yetzer Hara. As the person ascends and he's spiritually higher, he has more of a Yetzer Hara than he had before, but still 50%. Everything must be equal, 50% in all of us. 50% Yetzer Hatov and 50% Yetzer Hara, more than that. In Medesh Rabban Kohelis, Parashat Gimel, Lois Gimel, Chazal say, and the words Toiv Me'oid, very good in the creation of the world, that refers to Yetzer Hara. How is that possible? How is that possible? One should drink so much so and pull him that he doesn't understand to explain this. The answer is simple. If it wasn't for Yetzer Hara, we wouldn't improve. We have to challenge ourselves. Beat the Yetzer Hara. And with that, we, we ascend in the spiritual ladder. But one should drink and pull him to the point that he doesn't know how to explain this. But he should always remember. Mordechai is the tzaddik. Mordechai is blessed. Haman is the rasha. Haman is cursed.